over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. as a fabulous newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. Go into newsletters. You'll see the opening call on the left-hand side. You just hit subscribe. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you can get it for a full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593.33. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. And Basil has about 10 to 12 outstanding webinars on his site. So the way it works, you can sign up. You get a great newsletter. If it doesn't work for you 28 days from now, you can get your money back. It works for you. Well, either way, you're going to get an amazing education because if you go through those archives, you're going to be off to the races riding that wave each and every day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? Doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. Thank you. So, we get a market here. Well, what's very interesting is that with all the negativity, the move that we've had from the 13th of October, the low of the Dow 28,660, has fulfilled a bunch of the criteria that I was talking to you about a week ago, we were looking at this and I said, the objective in the Chapman Wave is take you from, I'll just show this now for those people new to my work, from a, a low bar that becomes a buy signal. And if that buy signal is upgraded to a buy mode, it should go to at least four higher peaks and alphabetize them, A, B, C, D, the fourth highest peak. It can go even E, F, and G, but D is really the objective. And then you need to use other techniques in the Chapman wave. So what did we do? We looked at the low bar. We got in long after, just after the low was made, uh, around about 29,900 for the Dow. And it went peak A, peak B. And a very long leg C, and I said, if I use a particular technique that I call bar symmetry, not from the exact low, but in this case, from a, a particular level that I usually take it, it's the midpoint of the arch of that H pattern that we made from the low of 28,715 yes. back in late September, then I would it would take me, first of all, the, the target would be above the 32,504 high that was made early September. Well, it went above there in leg C. When I spoke to you, we were just in leg D. In other words, it accomplished everything that is the prerequisite for a buy signal to go to a buy mode in a chap wave, taking you to at least a D. Well, it made that D. That was the Fed. Um, that afternoon, it pulled back, and then it ran higher, went to 33,071, turned around and formed a Chapman Wave uh, inverted Roman candle. I don't want to go through that now. I'll do that in my show tomorrow at 10 o'clock in my Tiger Technician's Hour. But there are a couple of rules that I have and it fulfilled each one of those rules, the reason why we've been remaining long. We actually had, uh, uh, soon after we went long, we added the three times long position in the uh, Dow. The, uh, it's the UDOW. That's three times long, the Dow itself. Um, so we've taken about a 30% uh, uh, profit from that. We've still got the core position. And today it went to a leg E. And where is that E? Today's the high, the high is at 33,300. And 55. So far, the day is young, you never know. But so far, that's the high for the day. And it's in leg E. The nine period is over the 14. The MACD is good. The stochastic went from under 80%. It's now at about just on 79%. That's that's good. It's not great, but it's it's good. The unbalanced volume has been the weak link here. And I, I like to have that confirm in the rallies. And so far, it's been quite weak. But price is the arbiter of the trend. And so far, that's what we've got. So the technique that I use here based on this bar symmetry was the high that was made on the 26th of August. That was the next level on the upside that I was looking at, uh, 33,364. That was that very ugly candle. I called it a peak A minus because it failed. Um, and today we went just above it. So it's reached all the criteria. So now I'm going to move this daily chart that I've got here, moving it to the left, and you will see in the middle the weekly chart. And look where we are. There's this trend line. So two trend lines that are parallel become a channel. So this is a little mini channel. And I call it the inside track repellent zone until we can start to trade above it. Every time we've got there, we've been repelled. So today we went 
fractionally above it, and right as we're speaking up 363 at 33,180, we're right on the line. And this is still only a leg A. And look, every other failure since the top that was made at peak E at 36,952, the week of the 5th of January, every one of these has failed right inside that pink and green inside track. So here we are again, and they fell either at peak A or a B minus. So we're in leg A, one of the, this is one of the strongest legs we've had off a low um, in the down, the weekly chart in a very long time. So the big question is, is this, so far, all the technicals in the daily are fabulous. The, uh, the weekly chart needs a little work on the stochastic, but it did, this is, a, this is Tuesday. We've still got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to go. So this L that you see here with the nine period moving average has finally crossed positive. I have to wait for Friday because it could change. You know, you're looking at a bar, you have to know what your candle is, what time frame, and you can't talk about it until that bar completes because anything can happen. So at this particular point, a lot of the criteria that we wanted have been met. And you can see even on the monthly chart, if we start to move into the 33,500, 600 area, we've broken that downtrend line for the very first time in the monthly chart. So this is a very important period. We remain long. I'm actually looking to add to the, uh, to the long side. Uh, but at this particular point, we've got one leg that's gone to a, a, a particular target. That's leg E. Remember, I spoke about Bank of America, which we are long. It's finally gotten to that leg D nicely above the 200 period moving average. We long from the 31s. Today it hit 37.42. Most importantly, in this arch formation in the weekly chart that can revert to a cup formation, we need to close decisively above the 36.94 this Friday. It's really important that, that this pattern, if it does that, that becomes really positive because it opens the upside. And within that context, what we're looking at is if uh, you can get the uh, Bank of America, which is in the financials, to rally and continue to rally, I think that's a good thing. Another uh, stock that we have, it's actually an ETF, is, is IAI, which is the broker-dealer ETF. It, too, has just gone above uh, into, the P, into a leg D. So remember, the objective in the chart wave is to get you to at least a D, and that's where other things can happen. And this is where we're going to monitor it closely because the technicals here are all pretty good. Um, we'll have to see what the result. You know, I never say it's it's this particular instance like the, the election that's going to make a difference. No, it's what the market perceives. How the market reacts is the only thing I care about. So whatever the market does, whatever the, whatever the election results are, what the market does tells me what could be next. So let's see how this holds or fails, but at this particular point, a number of the criteria I was looking for are there, and we're right on the cusp of either a breakout to the upside or having a consolidation. So far, it's looking pretty good. Folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to get newsletters. You'll see the open call on the left-hand side. You hit that button, and you're off the races, and you're riding that wave. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. Uh, bottom line, thanks for doing my show last week. Really appreciate it. My and we pleasure. look forward to show tomorrow morning. Thank you very much, Tom. You too. Thanks, man.